First microplastics were found in our water, then in beer and salt and blood and breast milk and placentas. And now microplastics have been found in the human brain for the first time. Yes, you heard that right. A recent study found plastic particles in eight out of 15. That's more than half of human brains tested. These particles were discovered in the region responsible for our sense of smell, proving that microplastics can bypass the body's natural defences and travel straight to our central nervous system just by breathing through our nose. The scientists who led this study also believe that nanoplastics, which are much smaller microplastics, are probably in our brains too. They're just harder to detect and they've been less studied. So why should we care? Why is this important? Because humans are not immune from the impacts of plastic pollution. Once these particles enter our bodies, they don't just sit there. They interact with our cells. They cause inflammation, hormone disruption, and they're contributing to global fertility decline and rising cancer rates, especially in young people. There's around 16,000 chemicals in plastics. 4,000 of these are already known to harm human health, but only around 6% of these are regulated globally. That's less than a thousand. The evidence that plastic pollution isn't just an environmental crisis, it's a human health crisis is clear and it keeps growing. Microplastics are harming us and exposure is especially dangerous to children. The Plastics Health Council called for action ahead of the plastic treaty negotiations last month. But as we know, policymakers bent to the pressure of petrochemical giants instead of prioritising public health. How is this happening when the science is so clear? What will it take? We need systemic change and we need it now.